A South Valley family is mourning the loss of a young man. Arturo Luis Garcia died in a car crash on Highway 65 in Kern County last week. Action News South Valley reporter Cassandra Gutierrez joins us live from Tulare County this evening with how Arturo's family is coping with the heartbreak. Cassandra. Dale, I spoke with a family today. They are heartbroken as they try to pick up the pieces from this devastating loss. His dad describes him as a very respectful son who was just starting to live out his dreams. He had a passion for sports, his career in law enforcement and music. Always motivated, smart, kind. Very loving. That's how Arturo Garcia Perez remembers his 22 year old son, Arturo Luis Garcia of Porterville. Last Wednesday, Garcia was driving home on Highway 65 near Sherwood Avenue in Kern County when he was involved in a deadly crash. The California Highway Patrol says an early investigation found he was trying to pass when he crashed into oncoming traffic. Garcia died at the scene and three others were injured. The unfortunate thing is this is something we encounter a lot, you know, something that officers see. It can be very traumatic, so it is very stressful for officers having to see those things, even though we may not know who the person is. Garcia resembled his dad in many ways, including their love for soccer and their careers as correctional officers. His uniform recovered from the crash scene, a memento his father holds on to. I'm proud of my son. Whatever, whatever he had, he's listening to me. I mean, I just want to tell him that I'm proud of him. You know? Very proud of my boy. Arturo says his son had dreams of one day becoming a dad. They had just celebrated his 22nd birthday in May, but are now preparing for his funeral next week. Heartbroken and at a loss of words, Arturo is left with only memories of his son. I had it all. I had it everything. My kids, career, wife, and now I'm um, thinking that I'm missing it was missing part of my, my life. I don't know how, I'm, how am I going to do it for, to continue moving forward. Garcia leaves behind three younger siblings, a brother and two sisters, and many cousins. We do have a GoFundMe page that the family set up to help with a funeral cost. That's on our website. Live in Tulare County, I'm Cassandra Gutierrez, ABC 30 Action News.